hello guys uh, welcome back in this video let's have a look on the rotate brush so i'll be switching this to the sculpt mode and i'm going to expand this and you should able to see here we have the uh, rotate brush here i can press shift tab and then access the brush from here also so i would like to just uh, rotate i mean bring down the polygons here and then just enable the wireframe and then i'll increase the brush size and then just if you could able to see that's the active vertex and when i click and drag from that vertex you should able to see there's a twist here I can enable the mirror option and then when I'm, I want to twist something, I can just click there and then uh, just drag it and then you should be able to see there is a twist happening on the both sides. Okay, So make sure that uh, it is uh, symmetrical on both sides and then you can uh, make use of this and uh, pose this character uh, in terms of rotation. Okay, uh, You can select any point and then just click and drag and it rotates that uh, model. Uh, I just press Control 3, uh, Control 3 just to subdivide it furthermore and then uh, i would like to click and drag and then you should be able to see there's a twist happening here okay uh, so i think it's not looking great here i'll just take uh, one thing that is the sphere so i'll go to this uh, mode and um, i press ctrl 3 to subdivide it and then choose the uh, rotate brush and then just click and drag it and then you should be able to see that uh, sort of twist happening on the model so I can increase the brush and then uh, do overall twist over the model. Um, this can be greatly useful when you are trying something um, <coughs> uh, abstract. Okay, So when you want to make abstract 3D uh, models, you can generally use that. I would say first try to uh, deform it uh, something like this, non-spherical. I mean, uh, very organic shape like that. And then you could... Uh, now go with the rotate brush and then just click and drag and you should be able to see that very uh, very nice uh, patterns are generated over this give it a try with the beautiful shaders and see uh, what you get here as, as I told it, it perfectly looks like a abstract 3d shape um, not only that as I told uh, just if you in the case you want to twist any part just click and drag that you don't have a negative or positive options here uh, that, and again the strength is uh, irrelevant I need to just click and drag as I keep dragging the object keeps rotating there 